Bevan, I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about Superloop, exactly what they're up to at the moment. Superloop is effectively a telecommunications infrastructure company. So our focus is to roll out um, um, infrastructure in the key markets within Asia and then leverage other services on top of that. So right now we've, we've finished rolling out a network, a core network anyway in Australia, in Brisbane City, Melbourne uh, and in Singapore. We finished both of those around October last year. Um, and now we're very close to rolling out, uh, completing the network, the initial network in Hong Kong, um, which connects, you know, around 30 odd data centres in, in, in Hong Kong. That's about 110 kilometres of network, as well as uh, a nice express cable across the harbour called Tico Express. So we're kind of on track for, you know, the end of this year, having all our terrestrial bills done in and the three major markets that we want to operate in. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, very interesting. So um, what attracted you to the Asian market? What are the sort of dynamics and drivers of that market that make um, Superloop uh, an attractive investment proposition up there? Yeah, look, I suppose when I looked at where the market was heading, you know, I'm very lucky and fortunate I get to kind of travel the world a fair bit and talk to some pretty interesting organisations. But the thing that really struck me when I was travelling a lot through Asia, there actually isn't a single provider that can actually cover you in, in all three countries or even in two countries, probably with the exception of Singtel. So, you know, whereas you would look in the United States or you look in Europe, you've got players like you know, Zayo or Level 3 or those types of operators. There's no one operating like that in Asia. So the first and foremost, I saw there's an opportunity for someone to become that independent provider and under one master service agreement service many, you know, whether they're wholesale clients or carriers or partners or enterprises across the entire Asia experience is probably the first point. Um, and the second point is that the the markets in, in Singapore and Hong Kong really weren't that competitive. They were reminding me very much of Australia back in, you know, 2003, 4, 5 when we kind of really started with Pipe Network. So... It was a combination of factors, um, uh, and I think the last one was was also around, you know, the internet and telecommunications. It's the fast growing industry in the world, mm -hmm. and Asia is the fast growing market in the world. So when you kind of when I look at those three factors, I thought I really want to be investing in in that space and in those markets. So in terms of uh, the year ahead, uh, FY17, what's the outlook for Superloop? Yeah, well, you know, the, as, as we said, this, what's exciting about this financial year, it's the first actual financial year that both Singapore and Australia are completed. And, and kind of looking in terms of calendar year next year, where, you know, which is only, gosh, it's only about four months away, Hong Kong will be done. It'll be a first full calendar year of all networks built. It'll be, um, uh, you know, it will be, we'll be having the, the landing of the Tico Express running across Victoria Harbour. We'll, so we'll be the first carrier uh, in Hong Kong to have direct access and diverse access to the stock exchange and the data centre park over there. And then really for us, it's, it's now about selling. So, you know, it's about getting the sales team in place. We've got the operations team, yep. you know, in place, which is fantastic. Um, and it's, it's about leveraging our ownership economics and infrastructure um, and, and, and selling more and more capacity because that's all we have to do now is, is really increase utilisation. When you increase utilisation, your margins improve dramatically. Great. Sounds like a very exciting year for Superloop.